Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. Happy Monday. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. We hope you had a fantastic weekend. You know what? It turned out, out to be really nice. Yeah, it did. Now, after this morning, about 5 o'clock, thunder and lightning, <laughs> storming and everything, it woke yeah. me up. I ended up, I looked <laughs> up, and guess who were standing at the foot of my bed? What? You both little boys. Uh, of course said, they would. They said, Mama. I said, come on. So. I was going to stand at my mama's bed if I could find her. That was, oh yeah, God. you know what I'm okay. saying. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. We've had, hey, we've got a great show lined up today. A lot of fun stuff. Why don't you stay with us because it's a great show. Let's check out our weather. All right, our camera is showing a little bit more cloud cover now as that cumulus cloud field moves on shore here in Myrtle's Inlet as well as North Myrtle Beach are tracking the skies and you can see that sea breeze moving in. It's also very evident on radar where that sea breeze is. That's the sea breeze front right there curving down through Britain's neck and eventually moving into Marion and Florence counties over the next couple of hours. Like we said, the sea breeze moving on shore a lot earlier than uh, typical. Right now we've got some light showers out towards Clarendon, Green Sea, as well as Loris and Cypress Creek, but that moving up into the North Carolina region. Look at our temperatures today. Mid to upper 80s across the region. The winds, especially at the coastline southeast, 10 to 15 gusting occasionally up to 25. What's to blame? A nice ridge of high pressure that is baking the desert southwest. I'm talking temperatures 100, 105, 110, and that is not feels like folks. That is the ambient air temperature for us. It's setting up an omega block with this cutoff low. That cutoff low very evident on water vapor satellite imagery. You can see that rotation very clearly. That's going to pull in moisture from the Gulf of Mexico as well as moisture from the Atlantic directly into the Carolina coast over the next two to three days as that high out west doesn't move. That means our low not moving. Afternoon showers and storms expected fire along that sea breeze, but by four o'clock it's out of our hair. We should begin to stay dry and then that secondary moisture surge overnight, allowing for a lot more thunderstorms, Amanda, as you saw. So those showers and storms will continue throughout the overnight hours into tomorrow with heavy rain being the main threat on our Tuesday and our Wednesday. Scattered showers will return Thursday, Friday and into the weekend, but those showers more the sea breeze type versus areas of low pressure. Expect a decent heavy rain event on our Tuesday, Wednesday right now due to the placement of the low. I do believe the heaviest of the rain will be north and east of our region, but if that low were to wobble just slightly west, it brings back that heavy rain threat on our Tuesday and Wednesday. So this is something that we do have to keep an eye on. Make sure you keep checking back with the first warning weather team for updates. Can I guess your password? Find out after a word from our advertiser. The top predictable passwords are things like ABC123, I love you, and password. Troy Hunt, Microsoft security expert, says that predictable keyboard patterns are sequences like QWERTY and variations of a company name. For example, if you are on Acme Corp site, common passwords will include Acme Corp, frequently with upper and lowercase characters, plus a number. Strong passwords are an effective way to protect your personal accounts from identity theft and other malicious acts. If your passwords are predictable, change them. You can store passwords in a secure app like Keeper Vault or 1Password. I'm Francie Black. For more great tips, visit TechTango Today.com. 
And welcome back, everybody, to Carolina and Company Live. It is a Monday. Thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget, tell a friend about the show because if they want to know what's going on in the area, this show will tell them all about it. You're absolutely right. All right, right, a few things to talk about today. Let's talk about the place you get your clothing. All right, let's go. The haberdashery could be going back to school with all the new collegiate wear they have in their historic Conway store. Southern Tide has come up with some very cool t shirts designed for Gamecocks, Tigers, and Chancellors. Their new designs are so Soft and incredibly comfortable. If you like the new performance fabric, you will love the polos. The CCU teal blazers are very versatile and can be worn almost as often as a navy blazer. The haberdashery is going more and more collegiate every year, so come by and take a look at all of their new game day attire. Also remember that Teal Tuesday rolls around every week. The haberdashery right there in Conway. All right, let's talk about today. Today is Monday, July the 3rd, and it is Mosquito Day, which when the rain comes, here come the mosquitoes as well. That's right, July 23rd. And it, oh, uh, this is yes. Hot Enough For Your Day. Your Day, Y-A, that's yeah. what it says. Hot Enough For, for Your day. day. Yeah, that's right. You sound so cool. Right. Did you know that? <laughs> I know it. All right, birthdays today. Let's talk about 1961. Woody Harrelson, 57 years old, a bartender on the TV show Cheers, movies White uh, Men Can't Jump, and No Country for Old Men. And before fame, he was a woodcarver at an amusement park. All right, it's 1973. Monica Lewinsky has a birthday. She's 45. The White House intern that had nine romantic encounters with President Bill Clinton. And before the White House, she worked as a Thai sales person. I'm not that's sure I like that she's famous, but okay. That's all I'm going to anyway, say. Anyway, 1980, Michelle Williams, 38 years old, was a member of the superstar girl group Destiny's Child, her solo hit, We Break Down the Dawn, and she also did a gospel album. All right, today in history, 1950. How many of you remember Gene Autry? Well, the Gene Autry show pre premiered on TV on this date in 1950. All right, 1977, Foreigners Cold as Ice was released. All right, from the Know It All Department where you learn something every day, and uh, I double check this on the internet. People oh do not think I do, but I do. All right, what is the meaning? The Lone Ranger, you know, Tonto always called him Kimasabe. All right, what is the meaning of Kimasami? Anybody know? The words Tonto Blank used? Blank stares out there. What? Friend. It means trusted scout. Hey, friend was yes. a good guess. Yeah. That, right. that was a really good guess, actually. Kimo Trust, Sabe. Trusted scout. That's I like it. That. That's from the Know It All Department today. We got a great show lined up, some fun stuff coming up. Stick around. We'll be right back. Like me. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> and welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, coming up this weekend, right down in Surfside, we're talking about the Guy Daniel Surf Off, and this is the right. 19th annual. 19th, 19th annual, yeah, this is the second time, Mikey, you've been on to talk a little bit about it first. People who don't know, maybe people who are visiting, what is Guy Daniel Surf Off and what do you guys do? Uh, so every year we have a, a fundraiser. This is our annual fundraiser and we raise money for a scholarship fund that we have and um, also some beach renourishment uh, issues that we, that we manage. Um, and the, the Surf Off is really a good contest for beginners or people with a little bit of experience that are looking to kind of expand their competition horizons. It's a real friendly atmosphere. All right, and, now and is that kind of what the t-shirt looks like this year? The t-shirt is very similar, yes. Ooh, I like that. Okay, Ooh, I like that T-shirts will be on sale after the Surf Off on our website, surfoff.com. And it's going right. to be pretty cool. Now, not only do we do scholarships <laughs> just for kids, we have something also at Coastal Carolina. Absolutely. We have a uh, one scholarship dedicated to the Marine Science Department, and they'll select a deserving student, and we'll pay for that scholarship, too. All wow, right. that's fantastic. For right now, 
What's the total on the number we've given out over the we're years? We're at about $110,000 uh, that we've given away for scholarships. That's, That's pretty awesome. good. Now, yeah. this is open to anybody who wants to come. You can still get in if you want to get in and take part in this. We have a fun thing. It's two days, Saturday and Sunday. It'll be on mm -hmm. 13th Avenue in and Garden Surfside. City, right? And Surfside. Surfside. I mean, Surfside, right at the edge of Garden City and Surfside. Right. Now, so, what, what time is this going to start? And people, anybody can come out and watch. Spectators yeah. are welcome yeah. to come. Yeah, we have, a, we have a lot of fun events. We have a, like a kids activity tent. We have um, some Zerp events for kids. And we have lots of fun stuff going on the beach, dance parties and other, other crazy stuff. Well, so it's a good and, time. And I think, too, maybe <laughs> if your kids are, you know, wanting to surf or getting interested in that, it's a great way to bring them out and get them excited about it and maybe meet some people that can help them. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of people ready to volunteer and show people what the, the basics of surfing and you know, we have little areas on the sides of the contest where people can go, you know, teach somebody how to surf, and it's a lot and of fun. And what's so cool about doing these little games, Mike and does these little games with all the kids. <laughs> if there's any trash on the beach, he gives away little prizes. Good. And they run around, they pick up everything. If it's not tied down, yeah. they clean it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, That's awesome. That's amazing yeah, the way you do that, the, Mike. The like cleanest that. speck of beach and surf. I was going to say, good <laughs> beach nourishment right there for you. But it's going to be a lot of fun. We, uh, we put together a lot of stuff for this, and uh, we feed them. We do just about everything. We'll have food there, too, for people that come out. Absolutely. We've got... Uh, Charleston Flats food truck and also Bulls barbecue, so it should be a good time. Awesome, good time. fantastic. Mikey, Start what time? 9 a.m. Saturday. 9 a.m. I'll be there Saturday morning with the biscuits. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, buddy. All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Talking about a fundraiser for Walk a Mile in My Shoes. It's the Gospel Explosion, and it's going to be happening uh, the 28th. That's Saturday night. Right, and the donations, uh, of course, go to, to uh, helping their disabilities ministry. Yep, absolutely. All right, Roberta's with us right now. And Roberta, 
It's coming up, the Gospel Explosion. Nice Let's to talk see about you again. It. Good to see you again. Well, this is our third Gospel Explosion, and all our contribution goes towards Walk a Mile in My Shoes. Um, Tell us what Walk a Mile in yeah, My Shoes it, is Walk a Mile in My Shoes is a, a disability awareness. Where we go around and help people with a long-term disability uh, be with build ramps and for them. Which is fantastic, which allows people to be able to get out of their house easily. Right. More accessibility yeah. for people. Yes, yes. That's awesome. good. All right, now tell me a little bit about the gospel thing, where it's going to take place and who all is going to be a part of it. Yeah. Um, Greater Garden Chapel, Amy Church in Merle's Lent on 4581 Old Rivers Road in... Uh, yeah, there's, there's the flyer uh, right there. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be... Gospel Explosion. Who is who are they going to get to hear when they come? Is yeah. it? T tell us about the the entertainment. Well, uh, the Green family, uh, uh, Nas Rutledge, um, some other people in the church. Yeah, you got some. A lot of these people is um, not from the church. One of the uh, group from the church is um, in Him We Praise. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's from Georgetown, uh, Williamsburg County. Uh, Anywhere in the Georgetown or Orie County, different. Okay. Um, so, things. so it's a community right. effort. Yes. yes. All right. All right now, this is what's. Uh, is this free to the public, or what does it cost for them to come it's see? It's free to come in, but we expecting a little finance. Little yes, so, donation. Definitely. Yes. If you're going to put on a great show, something yeah. for the whole family to come out to, you definitely a donation to help a really great cause. Very much indeed. All right. Now, tell them where it's going. What time it starts and where it's going to be again? It starts Saturday evening at 6 p.m. at Greater Garden Chapel Church, uh, 4581 Old Rivers Road in Merle's Lent. That's July 28th. That's this Saturday, right? Yes, sir. And this our Saturday pastor's night. name is Reverend Andre Evans. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you for Thank being you. with Appreciate us. It. We All hope right. to see you there. Absolutely. All right. All right. Stick around. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live, Chirping Birds. We're going to find out what that's all about that's and what's right. coming up with well, the group. They've been on before um, talking yeah. about plastics and cleaning up of plastics in the area. So the Chirping Bird Society, as well as Club 142, they're having an event called, or they're showing the albatross. The albatross. Okay, yeah. that's going to be in the Waccamaw Library. And let's first talk about, there's a little saying you have about the Chirping Birds. Let's okay. hear it, and then we'll talk about the albatross event. Well, first of all, the Chirp and Bird Society chirp, cheap and chitter about plastic litter. And what we do <laughs> is we try to educate people about the devastating impacts of plastic. Uh, we do presentations, uh, PowerPoint presentations to people. We run events. Sure. And the other thing that we do is we screen movies. And one of the movies that we're screening is a life-changing documentary by Chris Jordan on Wednesday right called Albatross. All right, now tell yeah. us, right. yeah, Sandra, you are part of the Chirping Birds as well. Tell us about Albatross and maybe why this is so dear to you. Well, um, I've been a Chirping Bird for probably three years. The last screening we did was A Plastic Ocean, which we did at Surfside Library. And Albatross is the graduation from that film. And it is a very heartfelt film. It watches the albatross for a period of time, and you get to really get 
um, familiar with albatross, its habitat, and how it lives. And how it is being affected by the plastic. We talked yeah. last time, the albatross actually said would the parents would feed their children. Yeah, well, let me explain first yeah. of all that when we have an oil spill and we see the animals covered with oil, uh, we were full of grief. We rushed down to try and help the albatross. But when that oil comes back to land and is converted into plastic products and goes back to the ocean, it's out of sight, out of mind. Yep. We do not see what happens to the plastic pollution that goes into sure. the ocean. With albatross, you see that. Chris Jordan has spent eight years of his life making this wow. movie about the albatross chicks. It's a life-changing documentary, and uh, everybody in the world has okay. to see right. this. Doors open, what time? Is it free to the public? Talk about that. Uh, the movie starts at 6. Okay. Um, it is free to the public. We'll be there at Waccamaw um, Library in Polly's Island. Um, and so bring, bring everybody. Everybody needs everybody everybody to be invited. aware. Yeah. Okay. Including you too. Every, I'm included. <laughs> yeah, <you're laughs> right. Do yeah. that chirping thing again for me. Do what you did. We chirp, cheap, and chitter about plastic <laughs> litter. He liked it. He liked like it. That. Thank you for being with us Thanks, and girl. sharing your passion. Yes. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Check All it out right. at Welcome <laughs> Library. We got more coming up. Chirp, chirp. I can't do it. Chirp, we'll be chirp, right back. Chirp. <laughs> Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Always a laugh in here. You guys just never know what happens behind the scenes. Talking about Frank Theaters right now, they present a summer film series for kids, and two of the showings, one they've already had, are going to be sensory friendly and for the um, the autism community. Around That's here. right. We've got really Ken awesome. and Max with us now, and this is a big deal. All right, Max, when's the next one coming up? Well, that's, that's Max. This I'm is Max. Ken. I'm, Ken. Ken. I'm sorry, I got a daughter here. She's Amanda. I'm Amanda. Yeah. She's Amanda. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Ken. What, what, you know, when, when is the next one coming? Uh, Thursday morning, 1030. Okay. And it's absolutely free, and we're going to make several adjustments to uh, accommodate autistic people. Uh, the sound will be reduced. Nice. The lighting will be a little bit higher, and we've also found that the, the that autism people with autism don't like to have doors closed, so the auditorium door relax will be propped open. 
Wow. Right. Now, now, Max, you, you, you know, how did the first one go? Did it go well? Oh, it went over swimmingly. Um, well, there's a couple, there are a few different organizations that showed up on, on behalf of um, um, autism awareness. Yeah. Um, and they helped us out a lot, and they set up tables, and they talked to the people in the public, and it, it, it went over very well. So, so in preparation for this, I, first of all, I definitely commend you guys. This is fantastic and, and, and very much needed. Um, you know, did you kind of contact them and say, what can we do? How can we make this right? Well, we have a, a former employee who has an autistic brother. There we go. And that's how we found out about the size of the community and the, the need for it. And our hope is, uh, in our, especially with next year's Summer Kids series, is to expand it so that we can do it more often and, okay. uh, and possibly do hearing impaired also. Well, we've wow. got to take our hats cool. off to you. Because yeah, I absolutely. promise any time you do something for you know, autism kids or anybody, it's great. And y'all did this. And th this does not cost them anything to come to this. No, it's absolutely no, it's free. Awesome. free. It's an incredible way to give yeah. back. And you said this is also, now this showing is also open to the public. But do know that there are the rules for the sensory friendly yes. Yes. that you'll have to adhere to yes. as well. But you yes. also have another showing at that time, Max. Um, 30 minutes earlier at, at 10 a.m. Um, we do have a, f a free movie that's open to the general public. And then Great. at 1030 a.m. we will have one for the um, what are the movies? sensory sensitive. Yeah, it's what? Peter Rabbit. And we selected that specifically because it does not have a lot of CGI. And the, uh, the action in the movie is much less than it would be for a cartoon. Yeah. So there's not as much coming on the screen. There's, and uh, we're okay. also going to be not putting previews for this particular showing for sensory sensitive because sometimes the previews have things in there that you don't know. Yeah, they yeah. can be jarring and louder yeah. than, right. the, than of the, the normal movie. It's much like a commercial. Well, we look forward to y'all doing this again next year and I'm sure everybody out there, you know, loves what you're doing. Thank yeah. I appreciate that. Really appreciate great job. It. Appreciate it. If you know Thank anybody that yeah. um, needs a sensory friendly movie, anybody yeah. in the autistic um, autism community, please go check this out at Frank Theater. So doing a fantastic yep, job. Yep, so we're in, Con Thank you're you in Conway. Yeah. Yes, he's in yes, Conway. Right there. Conway. Conway. Thursday, 1030. We'll be right back. What do you look for when you want something entertaining, informative, and lots of fun? Carolina & Company Live with Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. This show keeps you informed of everything happening along the Grand Strand. Petey and Porterville. Tired of watching the same old, same old every day? Why not tune in to Carolina & Company Live? A show that's just plain fun. Hollywood! <laughs> Weekdays at noon on WPDE ABC 15. Carolina and Company Live. Hope you enjoyed today's show. Always something really cool happening in this area. Okay, go ahead. Shot to clears. I Shot blew that a minute ago in the middle of the commercial. I was, I, you know, I couldn't believe I did that, well, but I you did. Know what? I wanted to Here, correct it. Here's the deal. Yeah. Live TV, we're you all human know. and we all make mistakes, as you all know from That's watching right. our show every single day. So we hope you can forgive our mistakes and we hope you continue <laughs> to watch. That's right. Great show. Tell your friends about us. We'll be back tomorrow with another great show, fun show. This relaxes you. Have lunch and watch the show. It relaxes you. Yeah, I like. Really Maybe does. we should play mute. You want to sing? I'm, I'm Actually, relaxed. that's not very relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Be back tomorrow because I, I promise you'll learn something watching that's, the show. That's right. That's we'll fine. see you guys later. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye, everybody. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees.
Hello, everybody. Coming up in just a few minutes on Carolina and Company Live, the Grand Strand Humane Society is here with Pet of the Day. That's right. And we're talking to our very own meteorologist, Zach Covey. We're talking about the Hurricane Awareness Town Hall meeting that's coming up. All right. The Grateful Dog Festival is coming up over in uh, Florence. The Benefit Humane Societies. We'll tell you all about that. That's right. And Save Our Cats is having a bowling fundraiser. All that and more. Stick around. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you in just a few minutes. That's right. Hey everybody, it's the middle of the week. We're talking about a local nonprofit, Teach My People, down in Pauly's Island.